Ask any school kid and they'll tell you, no two snowflakes are alike. This bit of winter wisdom can be traced back to a man who lived in the shadow of the Green Mountains here in the little town of Jericho, Vermont. He became known the world over as the Snowflake Man. These magical photos are the lasting legacy of the Snowflake Man. Born in 1865 on this farm, nestled in the snow belt of northern New England, Wilson Bentley spent a lifetime studying the masterful architecture of snowflakes. Bentley said, to such a student, the winter storm is no longer a gloomy phenomenon to be dreaded. Even a blizzard becomes a source of keenest enjoyment and satisfaction. Bentley's work has been preserved at this museum in Jericho. I think uh, what's so compelling about Bentley's work is he took an idea that embodied both beauty and science and stuck with that one thing. Starting at a young age, Bentley was captivated by the delicate beauty of snowflakes and wanted to share this gift of nature with the world. At 19, after years of sketching snowflakes, Bentley took his first successful photo of a snow crystal. How did he do it? This 1917 film of Bentley shows us. He caught snowflakes on this black tray. Then he picked the one he was interested in with a sharp broom bristle, inspecting it under a microscope. Next, he transferred the snow crystal to a photographic slide and using this camera created a permanent record. All the while, Bentley moved fast and held his breath to prevent any melting. Uh, through perseverance uh, and passion, he achieved something that has lived on. Bentley captured thousands of these photomicrographs, no two alike. The locals scoffed at his efforts, claiming that snow in Vermont was as common as dirt. But the outside world did take notice and at the height of his fame in the 1920s, requests for his images came from all corners of the globe. The snowflake man was finally hailed a genius. He toiled away in relative obscurity, had a passion for a particular thing, and ended up living large. Bentley mused, the snow crystals come to us not only to reveal the wondrous beauty of the minute in nature, but to teach us that all earthly beauty is transient and must soon fade away. Bentley died of pneumonia in 1931 at the age of 66 after walking home in a snowstorm. He died a poor man, but as he was known to say, rich with satisfaction. Wilson Bentley was a man ahead of his time. Some of his theories on snow were not proven until 50 years after his death. Still, the exquisite beauty of his snow crystals remains timeless.